one's looking all right. There's bits of glue that aren't quite dry properly. That's looking quite good. Before I start sanding, these little bits that are still white, you're better off removing them before you start sanding. So just gunk up the paper. Get them off. You want it white, you know, white and clear, crispy. No, they're not bad. This one's quite good. It's one or two little bits where there's gap, a tiny gap there. Look. But I'll put a ground on it and I'll fill anything. And I did it like this because gluing, you know, the edge of a board to a board like that you always get a little bit of expansion so that gap that joint so will always show the however perfect you make it in the first place and i think that joint's going to be about as strong as i can make it so you know it is what it is now Right, they came together very well. Slight gap there. Could be just glue there. Oh. I'll spray them. I need to sand this edge off here, put another round on there, like I say, trim it to length. I left them oversize, you know, I cut them oversize in width just to get them here and get them in the workshop. But also, if I cock this joint up, I've got a bit to play with, you know, I can recut it maybe. So I've got just over 350 there, and I need 340 inside, so. I'll run them over so I'll rip them down. I'm going to cut about 10 mil off. I've got loads to play with, but sometimes just trimming just a little bit off, you don't get a square cut because the blade sort of drifts a bit. So sometimes it's better just to cut a little bit more off, you know, so that your blade's supported on either side. Oh. Good. Need a bigger saw. Shit. Well, I'm going to cut what I can. Short. I'll just whip that off with a saw.
that on this bit. Oh, I can stand it up. Right, just here, I can't get the cutter in there. I could do it on the end, but I'm going to ignore it just for now. Because the ends, I might have to cut and trim a bit anyway. And the full length, I might have to take a millimetre or two off. So, that'll do for that one. I'll do exactly the same to that one. So, lots of sanding to do. Sand these round. So, me cut the scoring just a little bit into it. Not bothered about that, it's only going a little bit. But I'll sand these smooth, down at 320. Even though I might be trimming ends, I'll do them. And put some primer on them. Then I can take them down there and see how they fit. And the end panel. I think I'm going to cut when it's down there. Pointless doing it twice. Right, so they're both sanded. I've got a brush here. I'll blow it down and I'll brush it as well. This brush has only ever been used for brushing down clean wood like this, so there's no nasties on it. I don't use oils and stuff on my hands. My hands are quite dry, so sometimes I just wipe it down with my hand, but it's not ideal, so nice clean brush. Blowing stuff down doesn't get the dust off sometimes. I don't know, for some reason it sticks, static maybe or something, I don't know. But I'll blow it down, brush it off, and then I've got some paint mixed in the in the gun there. And I'll put the fans on, that one I'll put on afterwards, that blows on, that one extracts out. Right, so that's one coat. There is a little crack along the edge here, look. Little bits here and there, some bits are better than others. But if the camera will pick it up, I've got some pit in here. Same with the cracks, the, f the spray paint won't fill those. You've got to sand them flat. Like I always say, you want this, you want this primer coat to be as perfect as you want the top coat to be. Top coat's just the pretty colour that you put on the top. So anyway, I'm just going to rub some normal filler in. Get it in with your fingers. Best tools sometimes. Get it squished in there. Mm. 
Junge. This stuff stands off quite easily, so. Anyway, I'll go around it all. Right, I filled everything. I think that bit of pit in there will sand out. You see, that's quite good down there. But from about here, I had to fill some bits. And there was a fly landed on here somewhere. I can't remember where. But I scraped it off with a blade. And I used a blade, just scraped it off. I've tried sanding them in the past, these little tiny flies. I think they get drunk on the fumes or whatever and fall in the paint. But I've tried sanding them off before and you just end up smearing the guts all over the place. Better to whip them off first, then sand it. I'm going through here and there, I expected that. I'm just sanding it until it feels smooth. With 320 grit paper. You can sort of hear, see I haven't sanded that bit but I have there. You can hear how coarse that is. And as soon as you've sanded it, the sound changes. Let's go around, feel it, sand any bits that feel a bit rougher, and I'll get another coat on. And I've sanded these smooth as well. Right, so that's the second one done. I've got the fan on up there because I'm just blowing everything down and that's clearing the air. I'll leave it for an hour or so, let most of the dust go. Then I'll come back and I'll blow it down a little bit in case anything's settled and give it a second coat and apart from when you sand the wood in the first place this first primer coat is the most sanding you'll do so the next coat might want a bit of a light sand 320 but then after that there won't be that much dust apart from that's on the floor or in the shed
So they're both dry now. I'm going to see if I can get them down to the place and get them fitted tomorrow or the day after.